everybody! So today I'm going to bring you a plus size wide calf wide width boot collection perfect for fall and winter because it is upon us. It is freezing outside right now. I live in Chicago. It is about 30 degrees ish right now. Um, so yeah it's time to pull out those boots. So I know as a plus size girl and for plus size girls all around the world or anybody that has even like muscular calves or wide width feet or anything like that um, it might be a struggle to find a good fitting pair of fashionable and or functional boots. So what I'm going to do today is show you my favorites and where I got them. Um, if they're still available I will obviously link them down below so that you can go ahead and scoop yourself up a pair of those too. Um, but I'll just kind of review them with you, show them how they fit, I'll show my leg, um, I'll try and do some measurements and whatnot so that you get an idea as to if they'll fit you, if you're smaller, if you're bigger, whatever the situation is. So if you're interested in seeing that, just keep watching. Okay, so first up is a very fashionable boot that is an over-the-knee boot. It's this guy right here. It's black with this really cute kind of gold piping trim along the foot. Um, and then it's obviously a heeled boot. It's probably about, I always measure it against my fingers. I don't know why. <laughs> but um, it's probably about a good three to four inches in height. And like I said, it's an over the knee boot. It's in this lovely black kind of faux suede material. It does have a zipper along the side. And these I actually bought from ASOS. And they are, as it states on the tag, a wide fit. So it has a wider calf um, circumference and is made to fit, obviously, those people that have wider calves. So this is also stretchy. So it's not only already made as larger circumference, but because it has an extra stretch, it's definitely going to fit most girls and their thighs. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like on so that you can see and again I'll show you what or tell you what my measurements are as far as ankle, calf, widest part and then even up above my knees so that you can compare it and judge for yourself as to whether or not this will fit you. Okay, so next, if you're not into a super high-heeled boot like that, I have these guys that are from Madden Girl. Same style, they have that same kind of a faux suede material. Um, these are not wide fit, but because they have the same type of material like those other ones, they are stretchy and they do fit above the knee for me. They also have this fun little um, open area with a little tassel and tie. It's just like that boot that I had in my last video that I bought at Forever 21 and like I stated they are everywhere and so this one in particular is from Madden Girl which is a like sis little sister company of Steve Madden so this one is in a gray color obviously and um, has a much smaller heel this one's only about maybe an inch or so much easier to walk in in the snow or in the cold in general when it's icy and slippery so that you're not falling all over yourself um, I have worn this out and it is super comfortable and super functional. Um, again, I will show you how it looks like on so that you can get an idea as to what it is like on the leg. Um, and then again, I will let you know the sizes of my leg and whatnot so that you can compare and see if you like it.
Next is this also over the knee, but it's kind of a faux over the knee boot. This one is from Torrid. So this is definitely made for a wide calf. It's already got a larger circumference on it. It's also a heeled boot. It's about, again, maybe four inches or so, three to four inches. It has this really cute kind of braided detail up the side here. A full zipper on the inside from all the way from the bottom of the shoe to almost near to the top here. And it has a little lace-up detail here on the back. So again, you can unlace it and give yourself a little bit extra room there at the top. So I said it was a faux over the knee because it stops here in the back right below your knee, so right above the calf. But then because it has this extra piece of material that kind of comes up the front, it goes over your knee. So it looks like it's an over the knee boot, but from the back it's not. So it will help kind of stay up a little bit better versus the other over the knee boots that tend to slide down all the time. So this is a really cute, cute feature on this. Um, and we'll... Um, like I said, stay up better on the leg itself. So, it also has this really good piece of elastic material right here that you can see. Um, so it'll also give a little bit more because this material itself is not stretchy. This is also a faux suede, but it's just a straight uh, material. It doesn't have any stretch to it. So this panel of elastic that runs down the side is slightly hidden is going to be great to give a little bit of extra room for those girls that have slightly larger calves. So I'll show you what that looks like on now. So if you're not into the over the knee look at all, uh, this boot is going to be for you then. This is a much more functional boot. This is more of a riding boot. So this is in a lovely gray color here. Has a little stud, a little buckle detail here, and then on the inside has this really cute stud detail. Um, it has the full zipper here. Oh, I'm sorry, not the full zipper. The half zipper here that just goes from about the ankle down to the bar of the shoe but it has a full zipper here in the back. So all the way down the back of the shoe, you can unzip from here and then zip up so that it's like a full zip on the boot. Um, and then it just has this little additional zipper to help you kind of get your foot in there better and better maneuver it around so you're not like tugging at it as you're trying to put it on. Uh, the buckles, I think, are functional. You can, yeah, you can loosen them and make them a little bit bigger if you need to, if you need some more room in the ankle, which is good for those that have wider feet. Now, this is just a straight size, I guess, boot. It's not um, a wide calf particularly, but um, it's from the brand Pink and Pepper. And it just so happened that it fits pretty well right below the knee on me. Um, I do have to, <laughs> the little trick that I use, um, I always kind of uh, slouch it down a little bit, get it zipped up all the way, and then I pull it up over my leg. So this is like a faux leather, obviously, so it does have a teeny bit of stretch. If you pull it on and up and over, it'll stretch like that much, literally. But, um, but it gives me just enough that it'll come up and hold there, right where it needs to. So this is a great kind of more functional boot. It's um, a little bit more sheen to the leather, like a normal leather, I guess, um, even though it's full leather. Um, but it's a little bit better as far as the elements. So if there's rain or snow or whatever, you can kind of just wipe it off and it's not going to get those gross soft stains like the other suede ones that you would, that I did show unless you do like some sort of protection on them or whatever. So a little slightly more functional boot that you'll see on me in a minute. So 
speaking of function, this next one definitely is a functional shoe for the winter time. Um, it's going to be great for snow, for ice, for anything that has like a slippery condition or anything like that. This is actually a shoe that I purchased from Ashley Stewart, and this is definitely a wide width shoe. Um, I don't technically really have a very wide width foot, um, I just have a wider calf. But this is great for winter because for me, I don't have the wide foot, but it allows me to put on a thicker sock underneath. So when it's actually really cold, I can do a double sock or I can do a really thick sock and I still have some room in here to kind of move around and I don't feel like squished in there. So this is basically like a combat boot um, that has a little bit of a zipper detail right here that is functional that you can um, unzip and pull up if you'd like. It has the regular shoelaces in the front like normal. Um, but the material is really nice. It's not leather, but it's like a neoprene kind of a material. So very water resistant, which is great. And then the bottom is totally like a lug sole that will really grip the ground and help prevent any slipping or falling in the winter time when it's snow or icy or anything like that. So this is a great boot from Ashley Stewart, wide width, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Last but definitely not least, you're not a basic bitch unless you got one of these, right? So it's not an UGG, but it is from the brand Bear Paw. I love these so much. These are my go-to for anything when I need a winter boot that's going to keep me warm, going to keep me dry, and going to help me as far as gripping the ground and not slipping and falling on my butt. So I love these from Bear Paw. They're much better than Uggs in my opinion because the Uggs that I have seen do not have this particular type of sole. Most of the Uggs that I've seen are mostly smooth and they don't have a really rugged lug type of sole like this that's going to grip the ground and prevent any kind of slipping or sliding around. Now, so this one does have it, which is great. It still has that same kind of like suede uh, material and it has on the inside that really soft and cozy sheepskin that everyone loves so much as far as the winter boot but it's like a third of the price so I got these I mean you can find these in any retail store you can get them at um, I think pretty sure they have them at Macy's or um, I actually bought some last year I believe at Marshall's or maybe Ross so they have them discounted there uh, full price these are probably I would say maybe like between the 60 to 80 dollar range which is still a hell of a lot cheaper but I got these actually these are new because the black ones that I had from last year are already kind of falling apart and I just wanted a new pair um, I got these on Amazon and I believe that they were $40 I'll double check on that for you but $40 for a great boot that's going to last you and the ones that I had before are falling apart now but I've had them for about three or four years at this point and I never protected them I know I'm a bad person, but that was unprotected and they lasted for three to four years and I never fell once with them on. So definitely a um, staple for winter and they're wide enough here where, again, they're not for wide uh, calf or anything like that, but they fit perfectly. They hit just right the mid calf and I have no problems getting them on or off with this. So I'll show you what those look like now.
So that's it guys, that's all of my faves wrapped up into one little package for you. Again, if you liked any of the boots that I've shown, I'm going to try my best to link them down below so that you can go ahead and get them for yourself. Um, as always, if you have any questions or want to let me know some things that you might want to see in the future from me, please comment down below. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like me, go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep on watching my videos in the future. Thanks guys, hope you have a great one. Bye.